Hi, my dear friends. Welcome back. My name is Emmy. My husband is Paul, and this is our channel, Frugal Money Saver. We are so happy you are here. How is everyone feeling today? What's going on? Um, we are loving this end of summer weather. Dixie is just having a ball over on the couch. Um, it is warm and sunny and autumn will be here in the Northeast before you know it. And we're just trying to soak up all this beautiful weather. We really are. So I hope this video finds you well. Um, and I am so happy you are here. If you are new here, click that little subscribe button, become part of our family. We are an early retirement couple that just really shows you how to live an abundant life with less money. And honestly, we have a wonderful time doing it. So give this a big thumbs up if you enjoy it and let's get started. So if you saw the title of this video, um, frugal productivity and quiet time. What again am I talking about, right? I come up with these things, but these are things that Paul and I do. And these are things that we have found have helped us and we just want to share it with you. Um, I'm an extrovert by nature. I love people. I get my energy from people. And if um, I had my way, this door to my home would be open and people would be in and out having tea and crumpets all day with me. Honestly, I just love to be around um, good natured people. It's just such a positive experience for me. But I have to be honest, being an extrovert can be exhausting too. And there are times I go and just take some time for myself. And I read a book or I just sit quietly and you know watch a YouTube video, whatever. I just decompress a little bit. And I think with frugality and the lifestyle we have chosen, we can be most productive in that lifestyle if we take time to sit quietly and evaluate our journey. What do I mean? In the world we are living in, we are constantly being pulled. The pretty baubles, the pretty gifts, glittery, fun presents, all these wonderful worldly things that are constantly tugging on us. And at times we're also up against, I hate to say it, negativity because people may not understand why we are living this way or why we've chosen to live this way. And tons of noise. There's always noise. Either our TV's going, our phones are going, computer, we're always bombarded with noise as well. So taking a little time and separating ourselves, even whatever, how many minutes you can spare will help you so much on your frugal journey. While we are taking this quiet time, I want you to just get a pen, some paper, put yourself in a quiet area, turn the TV off, just, just take some time and think about why you are on this frugal journey. Remember the excitement when you started this journey. Remember what your goal was for this journey and remember all the positive things that this journey has imparted to you. What got you started? Is it a set of principles that you have chosen to live by just to leave a smaller footprint on the earth and to live simply? Is it because you had to? Financially, you need to live a frugal life right now. Or is it because you need to pay down debt? Or is it because you're looking to buy a home, a car, put a child through college, whatever it might be. We need to remember the reason we have started on this journey. For Paul and I, it was because we wanted him to retire at 55. And after that, when he retired at 55, it became our way of life. This is our principles and this is what we believe. We want to be debt free. We, we are debt free, but we want to continue to be debt free. We want to have the freedom to live a philosophy that we truly believe in. We believe in this frugal lifestyle. And yes, sometimes we need to sit and remember that. And when people are asking us to do this or people are asking us to do that, and it goes against what we have uh, agreed upon and believe in and, and feel comfortable with, 
um, it's hard sometimes, but taking this quiet time to sit and reevaluate and think about our journey and why we started this and why we keep going helps us so much. And I want to encourage you to do the same. We need to be true to ourselves. To continue on this frugal lifestyle, we have to be centered. We have to know this is the road we are taking. What I'm asking you to do basically is jot down some ways that you think frugality has changed your life for the better. Have you realized what is most important in your life? Jot them down. We got rid of cable. I don't ever want it in this house again, period. We do not buy a ton of items. We do things instead of buy things, if that makes sense. We do a lot more. We have more time for reading, I've told you this, music, uh, walks, things like that. That is what the positives are on my piece of paper. For you, it may be I have paid down um, $200 worth of my debt. I have saved $1,000 to put towards a car. I have saved $5,000 for a home. Whatever it is, jot it down and put it somewhere to constantly remind you of how far you've come, how great you are doing, and what an inspiration you are to others around you. I get comments sometimes from people saying, oh, I didn't do great this week, or I wanted to do better on my food budget, but I didn't, or um, I didn't um, get the cheapest item when I knew I should. So what? So what? It's baby steps. It's baby steps. For every little step we take, that's one step closer. And Paul and I continue to live this way. Baby steps. There are times we take baby steps. But you need to know you are doing what you believe in. You are doing what your heart is telling you to do. And that's exactly what should be on that sheet posted on your refrigerator, in your wallet, in your pocketbook, by your bed, so that when you feel discouraged, or maybe you feel, I can't do this right now, it's just, it's not working for me. Pull that piece of paper out and revisit what this is all about for you, because this is a personal, personal journey. This list will prove to you how awesome you are, how far you've come, the principles you believe in, and the general feeling that this is a lifestyle that you have chosen, embraced, and believe in. And that's it. You go this far, that's fine. You've done enough for today. We'll think about tomorrow, tomorrow. So this is just total encouragement. Get that quiet time, even if it's five minutes. Jot down, remember why you're here. Remember the feeling of paying off your debt or saving for what you need to save for or just simply living a purposeful life, right? So I hope this blessed you. I hope it encouraged you because basically we get our encouragement from you. You need to know that. When I come on here and you leave me those comments, we're in this together. We're a family, we're working this, we're doing it. So thank you from the bottom of Paul and I's heart, thank you. You are all so very special to us. So if you enjoyed this, which I hope you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know some of the aspects that frugality has revealed to you that are super positive, super positive, and I know there are many. Before we go, I just want to ask you all something. We put a question over on the community board about if you all would love to see a Q&A with Paul and I about our frugal lifestyle, questions on how we manage our frugal lifestyle, whatever it may be. And overwhelmingly, you guys all said, yes, you would love a video like that. So thank you, and we would be happy to do it. If you want to leave us a question down in the comments section, we will go through 
as many as we can. We'll pick out as many as we think we can do without boring you all to tears. And then Paul and I will sit and we will go over them and answer them with you. So you can either leave a question down below in the comments section or head over to the community tab and you can leave a question over there on my original poll that I did. So we wish you blessings. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And until our next video, we wish you blessings and you know we love you. Take care.